My name is Mikey Marinis. Uh, I'm from uh, Monaco Rib Boats. Uh, we are the distributors of uh, Ribco boats in uh, Monaco, uh, France, and Italy. Uh, Ribco boats are high-performance rib boats uh, in various lengths, uh, uh, with very good sea keeping. And we have the 44 uh, feet uh, here, and also 36 feet uh, in the water. Okay. And there's also a 28 feet uh, available. Uh, these are three times uh, 350 horsepower Mercury engines. Uh, giving a, a top speed of more than 65 knots. It's an open boat with many hidden features. Uh, so it can be used uh, also uh, besides the day boat. Can, somebody can have an, uh, have, have an app. You can, see in the, you can see in the front how it is. This area can be used as storage, but also, also for uh, for a quick nap, uh, either overnight or during the day. There's a big area here for the toilet oh, wow. and shower. The shower? Yeah. Ah. So right. also a lot of uh, height, there's a window there. There's a uh, shower, shower here, sea toilet. Uh, controls are easy, easy uh, to have here and full, full con uh, control of everything uh, in the boat here. It's a uh, full uh, Raymar Raymarine package of uh, GPS, uh, uh, EHF here, uh, AIS. Uh, can, can be, a radar can be also added if somebody, uh, somebody opts for it. A depth sounder, uh, a, a big stereo system with speakers, subwoofer and all around the, the boat. Ordering now can be available for, the, for, the, for next season, uh, but it takes some months to, to build and there is a, a big uh, uh, order book. Uh, this, the 44 as it, as it is, with, with all, all uh, everything as you see it, this in, in total as you see it is 400,000. Hello, my name is Sven Heil and my company is Stable and we design and produce stabilized platforms to use on board uh, boats, super yachts uh, and cruise liners. And the first product we made was a stabilized pool table or billiard table. And it really worked. We could, we could play billiard uh, with the gale from the side and people were amazed. But one day, a really seasick engineer, he tried to have a nap on the pool table and he recovered after 15 minutes. And then he could work for five, six more hours before he had to go back for the pool table. And we thought, Eureka, stabilized beds, that is our product in the future. We have a platform that can be moved by actuators in two dimensions, in roll and pitch. And we have some sensors under the, the platform and a computer that is calculating very fast and regulate move the bed so it's always in level or flat. The noise is normally around 38 dBA, but it could be lowered if we really work on it and insulate the noisy parts. But if you are really sensitive, we could do some extra effort to redu reduce the noise. Any size uh, bed, we have made a platform up to five and a half meter across for a dining table. But of course, the the bigger platform, the more space you need to have the platform uh, move, move around. We are talking about, for a platform, talking about from 80 to 100,000 euros. Okay, so this is, this is an anti-drone system. So it has a one kilometer range and it can detect drones and it can send them back to the user or that can actually just disconnect the signal from the controller and slowly make them land. So if you're flying over water, uh, then you've got problems. This can be put into a small antenna dome. So when you see, like, when we were looking at um, Dilbar and I was saying about how many antennas it had on top, well, some of those antennas might actually be some of these. And this is what I was talking about by uh, uh, electronic countermeasures rather than uh, actual pyrotechnic countermeasures. 
this is the kind of thing that they can deploy to you to you know uh, for privacy reasons and if this one's too big does it actually have a handheld one as well Hi, I'm Roy from U-Boat Works. Good morning. Okay, so this is the uh, Superyacht Sub-3. It's a special uh, submarine designed for, uh, for Superyachts. Uh, because of the low height, it can uh, fit in uh, tender garages very easily. Uh, it weighs uh, 3.8 tons. Um, it holds two passengers and one pilot uh, and goes down to a depth of 300 meters. It's, uh, like I said, specially designed for, uh, for Superyachts because of its, uh, its low height so it can easily fit in uh, tender garages. There's no umbilical cord, it's uh, completely autonomous, it can stay submerged for eight hours. It has a 64 kilowatt uh, uh, electrical uh, uh, driven propulsion system, air conditioning, Bluetooth stereo, all the bells okay. and whistles for, for three hours. people for eight three hours. How, how heavy would you say it was? Uh, 3.8 tons. Uh, like I said, it, is, it goes down to 300 meters. Oh, uh, this particular model is 300 meters. We have models that go down to 1700 meters. Uh, but those, as you can imagine, are bigger submarines. Uh, needs to have a, a bigger acrylic uh, uh, bubble. Um, so um, those are uh, specially aimed for uh, research groups and uh, uh, larger uh, cruise ships. Uh, the pilot, um, we have a, a pilot training program uh, at our uh, factory in, uh, in Breda. It takes two weeks to become a, a certified merciful pilot. Uh, starts at about uh, 2.4 million. <laughs> And I'm here with Deep Tracker from Kitchener, Ontario, Canada at the Monaco Yacht Show. Uh, in the tank here beside me, you will see our flagship product. It is the Deep Tracker DT G2. It's an underwater drone or a remotely operated vehicle, which is what we call it. It's depth rated up to 150 meters. And our yachties love it because they're able to put eyes in the water in less than 30 seconds. They're able to look at their hull, inspect their props or perhaps look at the marine base bed. Actually, there's no uh, power running at all through the tether. It is just the analog signal that gives you the live feed to the controller. Uh, it's lithium batteries on board and in the controller with eight hour battery life. Uh, we manufacture them in Canada, uh, or you can visit us at www.deeptracker.com. This is just one of five submersible robots that we make. Uh, this particular unit starts at about 4,000 euro, and they run all the way up to about 13,000 euro, which would give you a 4K camera, a worker claw, like you can see on this one here, and 150 meters worth of cable. Okay, so it's Raymond Cahoon here today from uh, Scotland Antique, and uh, we're looking at the Superior Antique uh, G23, which is uh, Natique's premier offering in the wakeboard market. Uh, the boat is suited for wakeboarding and wake surfing, and uh, has been voted uh, the world's best wakeboard and wake surf boat for the last five years. Basically, the hull shape took three years to develop, so it's a very sophisticated hull shape. It starts off with a deep V, runs to a flat back, and uh, all the shapes and angles here, the surf system, make the wave at the back the best injuries I've ever seen, along with the amount of ballast that we can put in the boat. We can make the wake uh, sort of fatter and bigger or longer and shorter. Uh, the whole uh, boat is controlled by this uh, computer screen here and it's really easy to uh, use. And of course the uh, all important engine, 6.2 litre, 450 horsepower. And it's a coastal edition, so it'll take the salt water. So basically this boat is uh, 23 foot long. It's got a range of about eight hours. You can pump 200 and, sorry, 2,850 pounds worth of ballast into the boat in the underfloor tanks, which gives the boat the extra weight it needs to do wakeboarding and wake, wake surfing. Okay, this is an Augusta Westland 169. It's a 10-seater, uh, weighs just under five tons. Uh, so, so yeah, 10 seats, so it can carry 10, uh, it's incredible, you can get 10 people in this thing. Cost you uh, 8.5 million. I don't, I don't know what's with the crazy wrap though. Uh, I think last year it was just in black and I think it looked much better. Obviously it stands out more, but it looks a bit, I don't know. Looks like a 23 year old with a supercar. Incredible uh, cockpit. More switches and a switchy thing. Look at that. 
What is it with helicopters? Though? No matter how expensive they are, they always come with seats from a 1985 Vauxhall Chevette. El Toro de Lamborghini Pig. <laughs> this is definitely aimed at the uh, younger yacht owner. Or maybe not, I don't know. But this is a uh, Benico uh, massive powerboat in an amazing colour. Uh, in Porsche, as we'll call it Mexico Blue. And then you have a matching Lamborghini. 